FBG Cash was a Chicago drill rapper affiliated with FBG Duck and the Flyboy Gang. He was just starting to get some shine after a decade in the rap game, but he just got shot and killed right before he had the chance to blow up and make it out of Chicago. Here's what's going on. On Friday, June 10th, around 5.30 in the morning, FBG Cash was driving around Chicago with a woman who was asleep. They was on the 1600 block of West 81st Street when the black four-door sedan pulled up and the shooter hopped out and started dumping shots. According to the police, Cash grabbed his burner and shot back, but the ops had him outgunned with a rifle. Cash sustained multiple gunshot wounds about the body and was rushed to the Advocate Christ Medical Center where they pronounced him dead. The woman he was with got shot in the left arm and upper back and was taken to the same hospital in critical condition. After they killed Cash, the shooter hopped back in the whip and fled the scene. As of right now, the cops ain't named no suspects, but they got detectives on the case. A few hours after the shooting, a screenshot from the Citizen app surfaced online. In the photo, alleged witnesses are telling their side of the story. One of them wrote, I heard a guy say he's still laying in the alley. I watched him run to the alley and let off more shots. Man, I'm moving. Another person said the police sat and watched the shooting go down. And someone replied to them and said, yes, they did. It happened right under my window. Sound like it was in my house. Everybody hit the floor right out the bed, scared my children and grandchildren. I didn't even send them to school. Someone else on the app claimed they saw the shooter stand over cash and dump bullets into him. They wrote, watch a dark skinned guy with dreads stand over that poor guy and let off shots, man. RIP. Cash's death comes less than two years after FBG Duck got shot and killed broad day in Chicago's wealthy Gold Coast neighborhood. He was walking down the street in the shopping district when four men hopped out their cars and shot him to death. There was rumors that O Block was behind the hit. And back in October, the Chicago PD officially charged five of them with Duck's murder. U.S. Attorney John Losh said, Generally speaking, what's happening on social media and what's happening in the music videos that are on YouTube, particularly in the drill rap genre, it shows you what's happening in this city, which is that people are threatening to commit acts of violence and then either bragging about acts of violence or talking about how they're going to retaliate for other violence. It's happening on a regular basis. FPG Cash was active like Duck but it's unclear what the motive behind his murder was. What makes the situation even more tragic is that Cash recently went on No Jumper and said he was trying to make it out of Chicago. When Adam22 asked him if he never wants to leave Chicago, Cash told him, hell nah, I really don't want to be in Chicago. I'm hoping you show me a way to get me a million dollars right now when we leave here. Hopefully I get to the point where I'm dining in at restaurants that make me not even want to go back and eat the same shit I was eating the last 30 years. I don't want to see those same streets. I don't owe Chicago nothing. In an interview with the Drea O Show from just a week ago, Cash was optimistic about the future. He said, So much malicious shit going on in the world, and I still overrode it. I weathered the storm with all that shit. I don't think it's in my cars. I really don't. I think I'm gonna die of old age. Growing up in Chicago, Cash says that he actually had a pretty good home life. His pops was hustling while his mom took care of the kids, and Cash ended up jumping into the streets at a young age. He was surrounded by drug dealers and robbers, so he adapted to the environment and started doing the same things. Then, at 18, he got caught up in an armed robbery case and ended up taking a deal for six years in prison. Cash said he was just guilty by association, but he took the time instead of going to trial or snitching on his homies. He saw dudes he knew get years handed down, but only had to serve a few months, so he was shocked when he ended up serving six full years. By the time Cash got out, the whole city had changed. The drill movement was popping off, and social media had changed the whole game. According to him, social media really split up the city and made it way crazier. Cash started recording music in 2012, but the first taste of fame he got actually came from him hooking up with another artist's mom. Back when he was 16, Cash started casually seeing Chief Keef's mom on the side. He was just a kid when it was going down, but by the time Cash got out of prison, Keef had become the new face of Chicago rap. When Cash saw Keef doing numbers with the music, he hit up his mom and had his cameraman record the conversation. The phone call wasn't nothing serious, but Cash's cameraman leaked it without his permission to World Star Hip Hop, and it ended up going viral. Cash went viral again just a few months ago, and he posted a picture throwing up his middle finger while standing next to the King Von mural across the street from O'Block. According to Cash, him and Dirk was DMing each other back and forth, just saying stuff like, F you. Then Dirk challenged him to go over there and see what happens to you. Some fans think this is what led to Cash getting shot but there's no proof to confirm the rumor. In an interview with Truth Teller TV that was posted just the day before his death, Cash confirmed the rumors that he had record deals in the works. Even though he started dropping music all the way back in 2012, Cash never really blew up like a lot of his homies did. Urban Politicians TV asked him if the police were responsible for putting the brakes on his career. But Cash said, nah, I f my shit up. I hindered my own process. Ain't nobody told me to go put my hand in the fire. The shit I've been doing for this street shit, don't put your hand in the fire, bro. Just gravitate towards going on. Just keep going up. Don't do the shit that's gonna hinder your process. 
It took him a while to get his career popping, but recently, a little like Cash was really about to blow up. He recently dropped tracks like Computer Murderers, Step Has Come, and Back Gang Two Times, and racks up millions of views on YouTube. With label deals in the works, he had the opportunity to take his career even further. After the news broke about his death, Cash's homies and ops both hop online and talk about the situation. Lil J posted a picture of him on Instagram and said, shit crazy man, RIP Cash. Bro was solid. Cash talks about being in jail with Lil J in the Dre O Show interview. He said he talked to Jay every day since he got out of prison. Lil J just got released after serving seven years and has been grinding with the music too. So seeing his homie die like this, gotta be hard. Jono from O Block hopped on Instagram and wrote, it's time to get high high. I just found out some good news. I know y'all hurt hurt. I hope Von beat Cash ass when he caught him. And PGF Nook just posted an IG slide that said, damn, with a bunch of crying laughing emojis. THF Muda wrote on Instagram, once you learn to look past people in certain situations, it helps separate the real from the goofies. Rumors are flying right now that Cash was set up by someone he knew, and some people think Muda is saying the same thing, but no one knows what really went down, so it's all just rumors. THF Billahop on Instagram talks about how dissing dead ops just leads to more violence. He said, stop playing with the dead. Nothing good comes out of that, only death. Hashtag pray for Chicago. This and your dead ops is just part of Chicago's culture now. And FPG Cash is doing it himself in some of his new music. On the track Back Again Two Times, he said, I don't want to hear no get back, the whole world witness. Your main sniper get his shit splat and you ain't even get your lick back. This line was allegedly aimed at O-Block for not getting revenge for King Von's death. Later in the track, he went after Dirk directly with the line, look at what happened to D-Thing. They know how we came, which is referring to Lil Dirk's brother who got killed last year. Obviously, Cash would never be cool with O-Block after all the blood that's been spilled on both sides. But like Billa said, only death comes out of dissing dead ops. It seemed like Cash was making moves and wanted to get out of Chicago before the streets caught up to him. But unfortunately, like many other drill rappers, he got killed before he could make it out and reach his full potential. This story is still developing, so make sure y'all tap in for updates. Long live FBG Cash.